Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is going to be about this right here. It's your, let's see if it'll come up. It's your duplicate offset. I keep mine at zero, zero, because when I want to copy Control D, I want it right on top of the other one so I can move it around and do what I want to do with it. But if this is a two inch by two inch block, but I want to move them down in a diagonal. I want to make a copy. So we're going to change this, the top one to two inch, which is our X. Our Y, we're going to go negative two inches. And then when I make a duplicate, it goes downhill and is touching on the other one. Now let's change it to two inches by two inches. Lasso them all together, make a duplicate. Now it's going uphill. I'm just showing you something real quick. Now let's group this together. Go to group. And a lot of uh, versions of Corel are different. This is Corel X7, and you actually have to go group and then over to group. And on like 5, X15 and under, there's actually group and ungroup right there. So let's. We, this is at a 45 degree angle, so let's change it to 45. Let's hit P, put it in the center of the center of the board, which is weird because it's not in the center of the page. Because there's something right there. There's something right there, um, and that's really what I was going to show you tonight. Because I group my zoom in with it. So let's I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Let's ungroup them. Let's get this word out of the way. Whoop. And I'm going to show you why in just a second. Now let's group this together. And you can go Control G, hit P, and now that's in the center of the page. Now we're going to zoom in and see what that word was. We want to take it back to zero degrees. And we want to hit P on the keyboard. He's in the center of the page. Now, when you're working a lot, and you can't really even see that zoom. But you're normally going to work with your pick tool. And instead of, and I know this is minute little time, but instead of going the zoom button and then zooming on in on that center, now you, and keep in mind, you can just hit your space bar and you'll get back to your pick tool. But instead of having to go, and it doesn't matter where that zoom is, let's put a, Let's put another block, make it a little smaller, fill it in with black, and let's put it right here. So let's say I want to look at that zoom. I know it's right there. Okay, instead of going to your getting your zoom or, or hitting the Z on your keyboard, all you have to do is put your cursor and move your mouse wheel and wherever your pointer was is where it's going to zoom into. Okay, here I'm going to move into that. It's going to zoom in on the black. Uh, if I want, and you can see my drawing's a little bit off. Um, let's put it over here. So, you know, my cursor's way over here, but I want to just move my wheel. And I, if you get right in the middle, it'll start in the middle. Go back to zoom. So it just, you know, it just, it doesn't really save you that much time. But it's one last little thing you have to do if you can just use the will of your mouse. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.